Hi, have you heard of the term hybrid cable lately? In the world of automation, it's thrown around quite a bit these days. And as we move forward, more and more drive manufacturers start adding a hybrid cable option to their motors and drive systems. So what is a hybrid cable and why is it important? What benefits does it actually offer me? Today, we're gonna look into why a hybrid cable is so important and why this new technology is really growing at a rapid pace. So what exactly is a hybrid cable? Well, a hybrid cable is typically used with servo motor applications. So the servo motor manufacturer, the drive manufacturer, typically uses two different cables. One supplies the energy or the power, and the second provides the data. Now usually the data systems are an encoder, a feedback, or a resolver system. So with a hybrid cable, we're essentially taking the two cables that we have been using for many, many years for drive systems, and we combine it into a single cable. Why would we do that? Well, the first reason is because you're looking to save space. Specifically with IGUS, when we're talking about cables inside of a cable carrier, space is very limited and we want to make sure we have the smallest profile cable carrier, or e-chain, that we could possibly use to save space on the machine itself. Secondly, we also have the connector factor. With our standard two cable system, we actually have connectors on both ends. That means there's essentially four different connection points that we're discussing. With a hybrid cable, we only need two. Well, what's really the difference between four to two? It doesn't seem like a big jump. The reason this is important is because one, you're saving money on the two additional connectors, and typically when we're using metal styles, and in today's climate, that can get very costly. Additionally, going from the standard system with two cables, you have four connection points as opposed to the hybrid, which has two points. So you're eliminating two potential failure modes with each connection point. So now that we know some of the benefits, why hasn't anybody done this sooner? Why are we just now coming into hybrid cable technology? Well, one of the main hurdles is the shielding. In a standard motor power application, we have your power conductors, and then we have your data conductors. They're both going to the same motor, and so having a shield on each of these cables helps protect the signal in the data cable. With a hybrid cable, we're combining the elements into one jacket, so it's very important to have a good shielding element on the data conductors as well as on the overall cable to make sure that there is no interference whatsoever. So who's started to use this new technology here in North America? Well, we've seen popularity with Allen Bradley, Siemens, Beckoff, and BNR as well. At IGUS, we make cables specifically for moving applications. We actually have two separate lines of servo motor hybrid cables that we can offer. One of them has a PVC jacket, and the other one has a polyurethane jacket. Electrically, they would work the same, but mechanically, they have their own advantages as well. To contact someone about your hybrid cable needs, or to simply learn more about hybrid cables in general, click the link below. Thanks for watching.